All right, guys, uh, this is nothing to do with the podcast or preparedness or permaculture or nothing like that. This is just a, a thing I thought some of y'all that follow me might want to see. This is one of my fish tanks. So when I do my podcast, those of you that listen and you hear me talk about my fish tank, this is one of the tanks that I'm talking about. This is my community tank, uh, mainly built on angels. And there's some really good-looking angel fish uh, in this community tank. And I'm about to introduce into this tank a critter that I figured I'd get some video of right now while he's out in the light because he won't come out in the light very often. Uh, this is known as a peacock eel. And they're from like the area around like Sumatra and places like that. And they're not really an eel. They're actually a fish that's eel shaped. Uh, but they look enough like an eel that everybody just calls them an eel. And well, they, you know, if you look at him, he kind of looks like an eel. They're kind of a creepy looking critter. They're a real cool looking critter. They're actually fairly peaceful animals. A lot of people think they're aggressive. Now, really small fish, as in smaller than those Danios, they will eat them. In fact, it's one of their preferred meals. Uh, most people feed them like live blood worms and stuff like that. I've, I've kept them before. And generally speaking, the blood worms that you get that are in a cube, like a freeze dry cube, about a quarter of one of those cubes a couple times a week, uh, fed right when you turn the lights out. That I've always found them to do pretty well on those, and, and they don't really have any qualms with eating those. And if you can kind of locate where they're at you usually see that little nose as it gets later in the day stick it out and kind of place it right near them so when they come out when the lights go out or when you dim them down like a lot of times i dim them down i'll show you how i dim them down in a, a moment here uh when it's time to go to bed uh they'll come out then they're fairly nocturnal and they'll eat but they're a really cool critter they like they spend most of their time down in the gravel and uh i think it's good for the gravel system down there to have something that goes in there and kind of works through and burrows through so let's set him free he's been in here long enough with the temperature equalizing i know some folks are big on the whole add some water let some water out i have never done that in my life and i've never had a problem losing fish let's see where he goes and he's probably no nah, he's heading under that piece of manzanito he's not heading in the gravel yet but i imagine he'll kind of disappear quite quickly here let me get this bag and it's just going to get wet on the floor and hell with it all clean that up after I get off anyway these lights um i'll put a link in the uh video notes for you where you can get these on amazon they're like 120 bucks nick ferguson turned them on turned me on to them they've really done wonders for this tank i think i'm actually going to add a second one on this top tank a little more light for all these plants that's my manumba cichlids down there we got a new placo going in there tonight too uh, but I wanted to show you if I can find the dead gone uh, Remote control that comes with it. You can preset different dim settings on it and uh, Here's the one that I used. I do this about an hour before I turn them off completely and uh, That bottom one doesn't want to cooperate There we go so let me turn the main lights down in here. You can see it's uh, very night-like. And uh, so that's kind of their settle down mode. And uh, anyway, I thought you'd just like to see the addition of the new eel. He's finding himself a place there again under that Manzanito. And uh, it's one of my things I like, fish. And what I love about fish, it doesn't matter what kind of day you're having, and their little world and their little ecosystem, they're good. They don't care. Anyway, catch up with you guys later.